Right, hi guys. Today we are off to a thrift store. We're heading to a Goodwill and then we're going to go on to... Uh, you might be able to hear the storm. We're going to go on to the beach, what's today's plan. But right now it's absolutely tipping it down. There's a massive storm going on. So yeah, it doesn't really look like beach weather, but um, as we've learned, the storms here just blow in and blow out, so it should be fine. And, um, oh, I need to say hi to Brenda, who messaged us a load of uh, addresses for thrift stores that she recommended. We're gonna head to the Goodwill that you recommended um, shortly, once we're ready to go. But yeah, this storm is raging right now. So we're having a day out of the parks today, aren't we? Yeah. Um, decided that we're going to head for, um, what's it called, a Goodwill. Yeah. Um, check out what that is. And, I don't know, maybe go to the beach, depending on that, whether this weather. That's the plan. The plans are um, open to change. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the parks have been fantastic, but it's it's they've been exhausting and overwhelming, and we just feel that just taking another day out to drive around and visit a few places yeah. is, what, is what we need. Yeah, so we've got three full days left. Um, we're gonna take some time out today and then do probably Hollywood Studios and maybe Epcot in the last couple of days. Um, but we've done everything that we really wanted to do. So we've, been, we've done the Magic Kingdom, had two days there. We've been to Universal for two days and um, done Harry Potter. Mostly did was, Harry Potter, which yeah, is what we wanted to do. That was, that was really what took us there. So um, so everything else is a bonus at this point. So we just thought we'd explore a bit today and just have an easier day. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to take you along with us. You have arrived. Of our store, no shopping carts are allowed in the fitting room. For the safety of our store and customers, no shopping carts are allowed in any of the fitting rooms. Thank you. Wow, this place is it's, it's huge. Overwhelming. Yeah. I've already seen a couple of people scanning things and looking things up on eBay or Amazon. I've only been here two minutes. But yeah. I've uh, not found the media section yet, I think that's over there. It's a load of electronics, I might have a quick look at the electronics. What are you going to have a look at? Browsing. Browsing. Yeah. It is huge though, this one, compared to what we're used to. Good old guitar hero. Andrea. <laughs> this is my aisle. This is your aisle. <laughs> wow. There's a whole wicker section. Well, I'll leave you to it. I'm going to the media. DVDs and games, one ninety nine. Final. It's 
certainly cheap. Emily Harris. Vinyl's cheap in there. Books by the thousand. Madden, 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 Madden. In the UK, this would be FIFA, 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 FIFA. Just look that up, it's not worth bothering with, so I'm gonna put that back. It is absolute chaos around here. Just chaos. Stuff everywhere. By the time you finish with the summer you walk enough. You wanna see me. Well if you were short of glasses. This is the place to come. There are hundreds and hundreds. Commemorative plates. Andy? I think I can get him in my suitcase. No, he won't fit in your suitcase. He needs sewing up. He's only five dollars. He's only what? He's only five dollars. Yeah. yeah, but he's also as big as your suitcase. Oh, I'm sure I can take him on the phone. <laughs> it's not happening. So a lot of the same CDs that we see in every charity shop are here. We've got Anastasia, Duffy, Shania Twain in just about every charity shop in the UK. I've even found D Reams Things Can Only Get Better single. What do you make of this place then? It's big. It's big. Yeah, it's good. The clothes are well organised. The, uh, the corner over there where the toys are is just absolute chaos. Yeah. It's just stuff everywhere. I was just saying to Ellen that in our charity shops we have things organised by size, but uh, it seems to be all over the place. It's not they put all shorts together that you have to rummage through to get. I think they try to, but I think people end up putting stuff back. Yeah, the t-shirts were in size and in colour. Yeah. Um, I think they try to organise it, but other people have put the stuff back in the wrong place. Pesky customers come along and move it all. Right. Where to now? Lots of Valentine's Day mugs. Well, in here, it's obviously a thing. Buy your other half a mug, on and, then, and then they bring it to Goodwill. <laughs> What did you think? Yeah, I just I think it's just because I'm hungry. I was just a bit overwhelmed by it, really. Just sensory overload. Yeah. It was, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We bought a few bits, but not to resell. Uh, Ellen picked up a t-shirt and a little cup. It was just and very busy. It was busy. I got chatting to an American guy in there. Um, 
he heard my accent and then we were chatting about the differences between the UK and the US and charity shops and stuff. And then we got onto Donald Trump very quickly. Um, yeah, so that was fun. But yeah, it was it was very different. I mean, we we were saying that the UK is slowly going this way. There's a there's a cancer research charity shop near us, which is huge. It's, it's very similar in its layout and way. Yeah, that is. but the average one, as yeah. as our American as our American as our UK viewers will know, are, are generally just small high street places that are a yeah. fraction the size of that place, which is more like a warehouse. Yeah. But yeah, it was so good. That, that was what it was like, wasn't it? It felt like we were going into a warehouse. And it was yeah, like, just rows and rows and rows of mostly clothing. And then the bric-a-brac in the corner, the toys and games was just chaos. Um, the electronics was just piled on top of each other. There was a few good bits in there, but nothing that I was gonna buy and take home. Um, and then crockery and glass, it was just endless rows and rows of glasses and plates and yeah. so if you were setting up a home out here you could go in there and you kit yourself out yeah. so cheap the stuff was the prices generally were really good in there as well the best aisle was the wicker aisle the wicker aisle yeah we don't have wicker aisles at home <laughs> yeah it was good i'm really glad we came really nice little bits that i probably would have picked up if i was at home but i couldn't have taken it home with me too yeah. big and bulky but. yeah so we're, we're absolutely starving, so we need to eat and get some energy. Yep. And it's still raining, so I don't know if we might possibly go to another one after this, maybe? I don't know. It's either head to the beach or find another charity shop. Yeah, I don't know if it's beach But if I, if I show you outside, yeah, it's not really beach weather. I mean, maybe it'll brighten up later, but we could find another one on the way. Yeah, but food first. Okay, we just had some food, but I've spotted a little, uh, what looks like a retro gaming shop. So we're going to go and have a look. No, we just, uh, I spotted you a retro video game shop. We used to have a similar place in the UK. Nice. So come and have a pro house. I could never figure out why in the US you had purple buttons on the Super Nintendo, whilst we had the different colours. Instead of the Famicom? It was, yeah. No, the Super Famicom. No, you had two different shades of purple on the controller. Oh, right, the light and the dark. Whereas the UK one, it's all the different colours, the yellow, green, red, and it was really nice. And yours was all square as well. So, they changed the design of the box yeah, and I mean, they the, changed the, the colours. Yeah, the different coloured buttons comes from the Japanese Famicom. Yeah. So, and the European one had the same, which I think looks so much better. Why would they do that? Why would they change it for the US market? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you've got a virtual boy in there. Am I okay to film some of your stuff? Yeah, go ahead. That's so cool. We have now found a, what's this one? It's the Salvation Army Family Store. You got cute little faces and, you know what I mean, our skin ain't soft. You need to stop. No, they don't look for It's not bad with the pink DS. Twenty dollars.
Great British band of the 80s, ABC. Another band from the 80s, UK band, Fine Young Cannibals. Sade. And Duran Duran. Oh wow. Even found Oasis. <laughs> Why you be jogging me, man? <laughs> More wicker. Something for the weekends. Tough guitar, English style. <laughs> Streisand. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where? Here. Really? Got him. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so that was Salvation Army. Slightly less chaotic than the uh, Goodwill that we went to. Yeah, it's slightly smaller, um, maybe slightly more organised, yeah. sort of. I think it was just because it was so busy in the Goodwill that it yeah. was just stuck it was, everywhere. It was heaving in there. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't find anything uh, to buy. There was a lot of video games in there and they were selling them as bundles. Um, yeah, it was interesting. They were like, kind of cling film together in bundles with quite high price tags on mm. and they were doing that with modern consoles as well there was some the DS's seemed quite reasonably priced uh, for a console with a few games for about $20 but I would want to check the condition and it was all taped I mean I, I dare say I could have got them to open it all but it felt like a lot of hassle so and they were locked in cabinets and so I didn't you go for it. Get them home anyway. <laughs> like... Yeah, well, DS would have been fine. Yeah. But anyway, we didn't buy anything, but we had a good look around. It was fascinating to see how they do it over this side of the pond. Um, it is still overcast and a little bit rainy, but we're going to persevere and go to the beach. <laughs> well, we've made that decision now, so we're going to stick we're with it. That way. Okay, we finally made it to Daytona Beach. Just spin around. So somewhere a few thousand miles that way is the UK. Just waiting for the girls, they popped in the toilet. You can actually drive on this beach. There's all cars parked up here. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that. We're currently parked up here. So according to that chap there, we can park on the beach and drive up here. Um, but you're meant to pay a fee, but there's nobody in the little uh, booths here, so we may just drive on anyway, I'm not sure. Hi there, can I bring my car on the beach? Because there's nobody in the ticket booth there, I don't know if I no, need so to pay. No, so it's closed right now. We're closed, I'm kicking, that's why I got my lights on right now. Oh, I'm so they've all the got to go, so. have they? Yeah, that's oh, why the only gate right. open is for an exit right now. Alright, all right. Yeah. no yeah, problem, sorry, thank guys. you. Yeah. So we're going to go and try and find somewhere a bit more permanent to park, I think. And then find somewhere to chill out. Okay, I've, I've booked us in for about half an hour's time. For you and you. Yeah? No. Where are they? Oh, they're still bouncing around up there. <laughs> Joe's Crab Shack. Doesn't sound ideal for vegetarians, you guys. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're just chilling out on the beach now. The pier is right back there. Oh, hold on. Get my feet wet. Um, and we thought we might look for somewhere to sit and have a beer somewhere, but not really sure. Unless, is that a bar up there? Can I get a pint of the, I think, was it Yingling? Yeah, please. Thank you. So we're having some food in Sloppy Joe's and that's the view out of the Atlantic. There's a whole lot of dancing going on over there. Yeah, and they have, if you ask, they have a vegan and vegetarian menu. Yep.